Vitamin D is so important. It's first of all a hormone, so it's made and generated in our body, especially with the help of the sun. And then it has so many different actions. You literally have a vitamin D receptor on almost every cell in your body. So it affects your brain, your mood, your immune system, and it affects the expression of about 2000 genes. So it really affects your risk of disease and cancer. If you're low in vitamin D, you're at a much higher risk of breast, prostate, colon, pancreatic cancer, and three of those are the most common types of cancer. Now, how do you know if you're deficient and if you need to take some? Well, there's a lot of factors. First of all, our body doesn't uh, make much vitamin D between the months of November to April, and then you make the most between the hours of 10 to two, if you wear sunscreen, you're blocking the production of about 98% of vitamin D. So in those situations, you may need to take some. Otherwise, the only way you really know is to have it checked. It's just a simple blood test. If you're concerned about cost, if it's covered by insurance or you don't have insurance, you can easily get it checked online. You can order your own test through multiple companies. They'll send you an order. You go to a local lab and they'll email you results. I've done it a lot. Examples are directly from Quest, uh, discounted labs. Uh, I think there's one walk-in lab test. So that's a consideration. If you're told your level, always ask what it is. You're considered low if your level is below 30, but you don't wanna be told it's normal and it's 31, cause that's not good enough. I consider an ideal level to be 50 and up. So about 50 to 100. I don't worry about someone being toxic until you're getting close to about 200. Not that I'm encouraging that. And then, so it just depends on many factors. So say your level is over 50 and you don't take any, you don't need to do anything. But say it's, it's below 50, whether or not you're taking some, you obviously need to take more. Pretty much everyone's gonna have to take over 2,000 units a day. I always recommend starting at 5,000, so anywhere from five to 10,000 a day, and then at some point recheck it to see if what you're doing is working and it's a quality supplement. Um, I always recommend waiting at least six months because it takes time to build it up. There's two different forms of vitamin D. There's vitamin D2, which is only a prescription. It is not well absorbed. I don't recommend it. Anything you grab over the counter is vitamin D3. I prefer gel caps or drops. And then some people just need more vitamin D for different reasons. Obviously, if you're low, you need more. But if you have black skin, you'll need to take more. If you're obese, you'll need to take more because you know you have more fat and vitamin D is fat soluble. So it keeps more of the vitamin D out of the bloodstream. Now kids, I feel it's safe to take up to 2000 units a day. There's a neat study that was done in Japan giving kids 1,200 units of vitamin D and it dropped their risk of the flu by 42%. That's more effective than the flu shot. Teens need the same amount as adults. And then there's other factors that affect like your body's conversion into the active form of vitamin D, like for example, pesticides. So always a great reason to do a detox. I always love a detox. And then one myth to debunk that I've seen floating around online is that washing your skin, people think that washes away vitamin D in the oils of your skin. And that's not true because you make vitamin D in the cells of your epidermis. So it's nothing you're going to wash away. So there's your word to the wise on vitamin D. Someone toxic unless their level is getting close to 200. So, and then how to know if what you're doing is working is you have to have it rechecked. Research shows that clicking the thumbs up and subscribe button will make fingers healthy and strong. And besides, it's free.